Kia ora, I'm Shuri Kinnear and here's all you need to know from the weekend sport in 90 seconds. The All Blacks again silenced critics with an emphatic victory over Argentina on Saturday night. A week on from their first ever home loss to the Pumas, the All Blacks delivered the demanded response in Hamilton, getting revenge 53-3. They were described as controlled, calculated and even cold-blooded by rugby commentators, with the All Blacks claiming seven tries, two while reducing Reduced to 14 men. Richie Moanga and David Haveli owned the tactical kicking approach, with Geordie Barrett and others chiming in. While the All Blacks were back on top, the Warriors weren't so lucky. They were beaten 27 to 26 by the Gold Coast Titans at home. The victory was claimed in Golden Point, with the Titans halfback Tana Boyd converting a 30-metre field goal in the 83rd minute. What made it even harder to stomach was the Warriors' look to have the game in the bag, holding a 14-point advantage with only eight minutes to play. But then the side seemed to clock off, seeing a soul-destroying final chapter to this year's season. To motorsport, Kiwi Marcus Armstrong returned to the top step of the Formula 2 podium, claiming his third race win of the season in the Netherlands. Impressing from start to finish, he took out the sprint race after getting a good launch from second on the grid to take the early lead and never relinquishing it. Meanwhile, Max Verstappen has won the Dutch Grand Prix to extend his lead in the Drivers' Championship, snatching victory from Lewis Hamilton. Verstappen started in pole, but Hamilton took the lead mid way through the race before a bizarre incident triggered a virtual safety car allowing Verstappen to take a cheap pit stop and stay in the lead. And that's all you need to know from the weekend sporting action. For more stories and to stay up to date head to nzherald.co.nz slash sport. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.